Hey guys, it's PJ with Michelson Yachts. We're here on this brand new Michelson 43 Generation 2. Gonna take you guys for a tour on the water and uh, show you what it's all about. All right, so here in the cockpit on this uh, Gen 2 43, a uh, little different setup than our standard. Uh, typically we have a day head here. These folks have built, uh, this is their third new 43 that they've built with us. And uh, they like a big long tackle center, more storage. So a lot of tackle storage on this boat. Essentially they use it for a, a day boat, a big day boat for fishing. It's gonna be down in uh, near San Carlos, Mexico. But they don't need a day head um, because they're just going to be on it for the day and I think they can uh, go overboard, I guess. But uh, nice big tackle center. It's really cool. about the uh, freshwater flush and the... So right here we have a freshwater flush for our main engines, which is really nice. Uh, it's connected to the freshwater tank on the boat. So when you get back to the dock, you're done using the boat. Turn your freshwater pump on. Turn this valve over to port. Let it run for about three to five minutes and your port engine is completely flushed with fresh water. No need to change zinks anymore or anything like that, which is really cool. Same with the starboard. We've got our cockpit controls here, it's really nice. So uh, I can run the boat from here if I'm fishing, if I'm docking, also have valve thruster control. We of course have our Teak Isle Plano box holders, all brand new of course, but this will all be filled up with tackle. These are really nice units, lockable. Um, you guys have seen this before, but hot and cold shower, of course. So if you go swimming and you're on the swim step. One thing, this is I think the first one we've done this on, we've started to paint our bait tanks blue on the inside. We've done a lot of research on how to keep the bait alive. Um, we've long ago perfected the flow and, and gotten the bait tanks really dialed in, but we've come to find out that if you paint the interior blue, the bait survives longer. And it also looks really cool. So get kind of double advantage there. Uh, got a similar teak aisle over here with Plano boxes. You can put fillet knives here, uh, needle nose pliers. So pretty cool setup. Of course, our staircase to the bridge. This is a uh, st standard on all Gen 2s is our stainless steel salon door, which is really nice. Really pretty door. And uh, coming into the salon here, Popular aft galley layout. All right, we got our nice big 13 and a half cubic foot Fisher Pekel refrigerator. Nice big freezer on the bottom. Sharp convection microwave oven. So if you need to heat up a burrito or cook your Thanksgiving turkey, you can do it all right here. A lot of storage space on these 43s. Nice big drawers for pots and pans. Nice and deep. We got a nice row of drawers here for all your silverware and utensils. And uh, under here, of course, you've got some shelves and your pull-out trash can, which is really nice to have all built in. This also is, is equipped with the soft close hinges on all the cabinet doors, which is nice. Um, so again, this was built as a day boat. Normally, this is our entertainment center. This is where the TV would typically be. They're not gonna be watching TV. They're gonna be fishing, cruising, probably not spending nights on the boat. So they said, we don't need a TV. Go ahead and make it more storage. Um, of course, our ship's panel. The way we do it on the Michelsons is reliable and time proven. Um, every switch on the boat for the most part is an actual breaker. This is a really good way to do it. Um, if you're out, you know, out at sea and something happens, um, this is a much better way to have than, you know, a digital display where if something goes, it's really hard to troubleshoot it. Um, so we try to keep things super user friendly, super simple. Uh, there's a lot of gimmicks out there and we tr tend to shy away from those because these boats are built to go places and uh, when, you're, when you're going long range, you wanna make sure you have reliable systems. All right, so just gonna show you, we've got an ice maker here. Good for your cocktails. Um, this dinette's amazing. You've got a big chase lounge here, so you can lay out, be really comfortable. 
this table drops down so this whole area becomes a dinette uh, if you if you want to have some guests additional sleeping a lot of times on the port side here we'll do a another dinette or just a settee they kept it open and did a barrel chair we installed some rod storage for them um, again this is going to mexico it's going to be a lot of fishing taking place on this boat and then we've got our overhead rod storage as well which is always uh nice you, you know it's a fishing boat but you don't want it to feel like a fishing boat when you're inside so you want to try and hide all that stuff away we do a really good job of that and again these are all customizable so nice little breakfast countertop here to eat at but when you design a new one, you can tweak this whole layout. You can do a forward galley, you can you can do barrel chairs on the starboard, and do a dinette over here. There's a lot of different variations that we've done over the years. Um, and a lot of customers that have built multiple 43s have changed things, they'll use it, they'll say, hey, it'd be really cool if we did this, so on the next one we incorporate that. And uh, essentially they, they end up building their perfect boat. So really cool to be able to have some customizability. Uh, if we come down stairs into the companionway, Got our head to port. Again, it's really nice. We went to the pocket door a while back. And so instead of having a, a swing door that blocks the shower when you're in there, you really have the whole the whole head and not a door here. So you can... This pocket door is really nice. We did the same thing on the guest stateroom. Um, again, they, they hide away and disappear, which is great. So in this head, you can access it when the master stateroom door is closed from the companion way for your guests or from the master. So it's really nice to be able to do that um, at night. You can close your master stateroom door and the head's still accessible for your guests and the owners. Coming into the master, really nice, comfortable master stateroom. Um, big overhead hatch. We've got our ocean air shade and blackout screen, these are really popular. Um, and we put those on all the all the deck hatches um, throughout the boat. A lot of cabinetry here. And again, I'm, I'm building a boat for some folks right now and they've eliminated the portholes and they're gonna have three cabinets. Um, so a little more storage. And it's really nice because you have uh, him and her hanging lockers on port and starboard. And there is a, a hanging rail here for hangers. So a lot, of, a lot of space down here at the foot of the master bed. You've got really nice sized drawers, really deep and, uh, and long. So you can store a lot here. And then you've got some nice cabinets with shelves outboard as well. And then one of the other things that's cool that we do is to get access, there's a lot of nice storage under this bed. We put a stainless steel bar with some lifting springs. So you want to put blankets, pillows, those are the cushions that turn the tables into beds. A lot of cool storage up here. Really easy to access. And then uh, if you guys come down in the under salon with me. This, uh, this area has been called a lot of things. Basement, garage, utility room. It's absolutely phenomenal to have this space because there's a lot of systems that we put in here that we don't necessarily want back with the engines. Uh, we've got our house batteries, we've got our Seakeeper gyro stabilizer, water purification system, our shower sump, water heater obviously, um, but it's really nice to have this. And there's a ton of storage down here. So you've got shelves outboard as you can see. You can fit a lot of stuff down here. If you want to do a washer dryer, we can put that. We've had customers put big wine chillers down here. A lot of cool stuff. Um, got our inverter, 2,000 watt inverter uh, charger here, so it's a really nice area. Let's go up and uh, we'll take a look at the flybridge. Hey guys, we're up here on the flybridge. We've got Captain James driving for us. Um, pretty standard bridge on this boat. 
Got our ladder to the hard top. Got a nice seating area up there. Um, you can also do a full control station if you want. But our Michelson towers and seating areas are really nice. They're not too high up. This hard top can support you know as much weight as you want to put up here. Got a nice ladder. It's not dangerous through the hatch. Um, really easy to access. And then we've got our aft station. So we call this our tournament station. Great for docking, great for fishing. If you do have people fishing in the cockpit, you can sit here, you can see exactly what's going on. So if you need to back down on the fish, you can do that. You're not going to slip. Really nice to be able to see the cockpit. You can also see the bow. Uh, and if you, for those of you that like to backseat drive, you can, you know, take the wheel back here and Captain James doesn't know what's going on. Uh, got our nice round uh, dinette seating area here. Again, this table drops, makes into a bed. Really comfortable. You can fit a ton of people up here. And when you're underway, this is where everybody wants to be hanging out. So it's really nice to have a flybridge. It's conducive to having a lot of people up here. Uh, really comfortable. And uh, just a, a really, really great way to lay it out. So this, this 43 is powered by twin Cummins QSB 550 engines. It's a 6.7 liter straight six. Phenomenal engines. Been using these for a long time now. Boat will cruise about 25 knots, tops out about 30. Um, as you can see, a ton of space in the engine room. You got a ton of space to work outboard behind the engines. Down between the engines, you've got this center hatch, really nice. Um, got our own end generator there, nine and a half kW. But uh, you won't find better access to an engine room, uh, even on a boat, a lot bigger than this. Mechanics never have to go inside. You can access everything. Essentially, a stand-up engine room once you open these hatches. So, really nice access. Hey guys, PJ Sullivan with Michelson Yachts, just uh, signing out. We're up here in the tower just to give you an idea how cool this area is, but um, this is hole number 97, beautiful brand new generation 2 43 Michelson. Hole number 98 is sold. Hole number 99 is gonna be a demo boat, so uh, look for that one soon. And hole number 100, which is a really exciting uh, boat, uh, 100th Michelson 43 we've built, is going to be uh, finished at the end of the year and is available. So uh, if you have any interest, give us a call and. Uh, you can buy hole number 100 of these beautiful 43s. All right, guys, up here on the bow, you know, one of the things that is so important on being out on the water um, on any boat is safety. And as you can see, we put beautiful stainless handrails everywhere on the boat that you need them um, so you don't fall overboard. And you can actually come up and utilize this bow. Uh, the side of the house has handrails. Again, this is, uh, this is really important, probably the most important thing. Make sure nobody falls overboard and when you're moving around out here that you have handholds to hold on to so, so nothing happens. Um, you come up. stuff cluttering up the foredeck so it's really nice to have all this below deck. Additionally you've got a nice storage area here you can put lines and fenders if you have fuel for your dinghy you can put it in here. But everything below decks and that that anchor is actually the, the anchoring point is the hole and not the pulpit. You see a lot of boats where the anchor is not the pulpit and this isn't very strong compared to the actual hole of the boat. So this is a much better stronger way to, uh, sorry, the Navy's beeping at us.
really good too. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>